Hi, welcome to the 44th Hammer tutorial. Today we're going to be making a map background for Counter-Strike Source only. This will not work for any other Source Engine game because the way that maps load for backgrounds in Counter-Strike Source is different from all the others. So, first thing you want to do is create your map for your background, obviously. And you want to have no spawn points in your map. Instead, you want to have a info player logo. This will prevent the annoying join team menu from popping up and trying to get players to join a team. So you need that, otherwise this will not work. Next, you need to create a point view control and place that where you want your view to be. Next, you want to name your point view control and create another entity called a info target and name this one something like view target and place it where you want your camera to look next select your point view control and choose entity to look at as your view target under the flags on the point view control uncheck start a player and uncheck follow player and check freeze player, infinite hold time, and snap to goal angles. Next, what you want to do is create a logic auto. Go to the outputs tab and on map spawn, view, enable. Click apply and OK. Now, you want to run your map normally or with fast, we're just going to run a quick test here and then load Counter-Strike, open up your console, type in map space your map name and this will load the map now this is what your map will look like from the background if you're happy with this and it's compiled fully you want to bring up your console, type in jpeg underscore quality 100 and press F5 to take a screenshot. Now you can disconnect and quick counter strike. Now you can close hammer and browse to your counter strike directory. And screenshots, you'll see the screenshot that we just took of our map. You're going to want to open this in Photoshop or GIMP or any other imaging program that can apply a blur effect. You want to change the image size to 1024 by 1024 and go to filter blur 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 some blur and then put it to 5 or if you want the half-life effect 30 I like 5 it's a little more defined you can tell what you're looking at a bit more then save the image as a VTF and save it as the maps name as an uncompressed texture. Click save and now browse to your contract directory again then go to materials if you don't have a folder called console create one then inside here you need to put the new created VTF copy the VTF and give it the postfix of underscore widescreen now you need to create two VMTs named the exact same thing. Inside these VMTs you need to have the shader as unlit generic, base texture and then all this. It'll be in the video info as well. Then they both need to have a widescreen counterpart as well. And you need to make sure that when you create the widescreen that you change the base texture. to include the widescreen. Now, you need to go back to your C-Strike directory, and if you don't have a folder called scripts, create one. Inside this folder, you need to have chaptersbackground.txt. If you don't have it, create it. And then inside, you're going to want to put chapters, and then open curly bracket. On the next line, put one, and then tab, quotations, and then your map name, and then close quote, next line, and curly bracket. Now, we need to go to CFG, and if you don't have an auto exe, an auto exe create one. 
If you already have one, you need to just add the line of map underscore background tut44 or your map name where tut44 is. This will tell Counter-Strike to load your map on startup. Now, all we have to do is load Counter-Strike. And we have our custom loading screen here. And as soon as the game loads, it should load directly into our background map. And now, if you were to join a server or create one, It will not reload the map background. I hope this tutorial helped you. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe.